Higher education is increasingly a global and competitive marketplace, and it's vitally important that individual countries and ministries develop their own higher education systems so that they themselves are competitive, they're growing their own market of future labour, and also that they can attract and recruit international students. Improving learning and teaching across higher education not only helps to develop the economic skills that a country needs for the future, it also helps to develop a workforce that's able to think creatively, to be agile in the way that it operates, and to be very adaptive to the future needs of society. Governments and ministries have a mission to improve the quality of higher education, recognising that they exist now in a global and competitive international marketplace. It's great to be able to have a reputation for world-class research and it's vitally important that countries pursue that, but it's equally important that countries develop their own quality systems around teaching and uh, improving the student learning experience. Students are becoming increasingly demanding. It's now more important than ever that institutions and governments are able to respond to the needs of those students, particularly in a marketplace where students are now consumers. But it's also important that uh, institutions do the very best that they can for students to improve the quality of student learning outcomes as a whole. And improved teaching, excellent teaching, is really a critical part of that. It's really important that ministries and governments focus on the quality of higher education, not just within institutions, but across their entire country and across their sector. One of the ways in which you can do that is to develop a professional standards framework, which actually sets a benchmark expectation for staff and students, and it uh, raises the profile and quality of teaching within a given country.